version of Dragon's Bane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we shall see. He did mention that he had a very useful something something, so we're going to get to he that. Did, he did mention that. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we are live. Um, I'm going to turn up the music In five, just ever, ever so four, slightly. Three. So you can actually hear it. Um, oh, so good. I have all the battle music up today. So, diplomacy, oh, romance, oh, werewolves, and brass dragons. Oh my. After an intense two days in Hibernia, the battle boys have uncovered many secrets, but few answers. While Alaric begins the process of uncovering political secrets and gaining the upper hand during pre wedding negotiations with the king and queen, Tope continues to woo the queen's champion or Lath. Later in the evening, Nylio's plan to trap the beast who lurks the, within the forest was successful, and he was able to capture the werewolf after luring him through brambles and lighting him on fire. As Nylio and the guards uh, who were set up the previous night capture the charred man, Einar returns from finding an emaciated baby brass dragon within the burned watchtower. The party reconvenes in the chapel where the burn man is placed on the altar for medical attention. The queen and Laszlo come down the stairs and express great concern over the charred man who is apparently the deceased king and Skanath's father. The man awakens after some medical attention from Laszlo and begins to attack the queen on sight, screaming that that thing was not his daughter. As Orlaith holds the man back, Nylio and Toke seize the opportunity to tackle the two foreigners and take the amulets that Laszlo and the Queen wear around their necks. As Nylio tosses the Queen's amulet into the air, Einar takes aim with his crossbow and effectively destroys the amulet. When the amulet is destroyed, the Queen begins to transform into a massive gold dragon, confirming Alaric's ancestor's Valoric's theory that she would be able to maintain a spell such as this with a powerful focus. The gold dragon is huge, so I did some math on this, 15 feet uh, tall and 15 feet wide, and takes out much of the chapel, including the ornate stained glass window depicting the monster that now stands before you. The guards scatter and Orlaith is stunned. The dragon traps Nylio and Toke within a ring of fire, which Nylio is just able to escape with his life. Toke is unable to destroy Laszlo's necklace and places it around his neck, unfortunately subjecting him to a dominate spell. Einar runs to the stairs in the hopes he can get to his brother in time, while Alaric quickly casts a hideous laughter spell, which uh, then uh, uh, disallows the gold dragon from make taking any reactions, but she is now uh, mercilessly laughing, and Alaric is hiding behind a pew. That is where we are now. It is actually the top of the round, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Can I ask a quick question? Yes. Is the queen's voice still recognizable in the dragon? It is. Uh, um, it's like a it's like a big dragon voice. So does, um, does, still, not, does still have her cadence? Not. I would say not. No, because you are familiar with it. I would say that. Uh, uh, you can like recognize no. a little bit, but if I it was just it. somebody random, if if you had never heard this person before, then I don't think you would register it as anything besides yeah. the dragon. Um, well, I was I wasn't saying that. I was yeah, saying yeah. would the for would the for would for instance the king be like that is her voice? You're right. She is a dragon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well. If no, somebody had, didn't see her transform, is, is there something about her that is still the queen? That's right. very possible. Uh, that's a good point. I would say it's it's very probable. Um, okay. It's not exactly like it, but the cadence is there. Um, all right. So before we start the next round and before the dragon takes action, Orlaith finally speaks up out of her stunned state. She takes her sword and plants it into the ground and kneels before the gold dragon and shouts up to her, my queen, please spare the dwarf 
Spare his life. Do not kill this innocent man. Um, the dragon turns her attention to her lathe and looks at her with curiosity. Uh, the dragon, through fits of laughter, <laughs> uh, questions Orlaith <laughs> on this and remarks, Why? Why spare these intruders? Orlaith uh, looks down and, and says, Please, your highness, for me, surely I have served you well enough. Do me this one favor, and I will be yours to command. Uh, okay, so I am going to roll for our girl <laughs> or late now. I'm hoping for the best. Spare. Uh, she gets a Okay, so there's a negative one circumstance bonus on the dragon right now. Yes. Okay. 25. She gets a plus nine to this. Yes. Nat 20. <laughs> oh. I'm going to take a picture God. of that just for you guys. That's amazing. Damn. <laughs> um, so, with the 29. You're muted, Griff, just so you know. I muted. Okay, oh, there no, you're not. Um, no, he's just using the other one for the camera. Yeah, camera's on my phone. Hello. Yeah. I saw you mouthing <laughs> stuff, so I thought, never mind. Don't worry about it. I'm just uh, making faces. As soon as I see myself, <laughs> I'm too narcissistic. I'm just like. <laughs> uh, so with a 29, uh, she. Mm. Toke, you are dominated at this point, but you can turn your head and sort of witness this exchange. Um, you, it's very difficult to see, and it's you can't see anything out of the fire, so Orlaith is hidden from you, but you can hear her voice. And you see the dragon contemplate this for a moment, and she sort of rocks back and forth largely. The the building is like rumbling. You guys still hear screaming and shouting everywhere. And she goes, <sighs> For my champion, I will grant you this one favor and nothing more. Uh, and she goes down to pick up Toke out of the ring of fire and places him outside the Ring of Fire, but the Dominate spell is still in full effect. I'm not spared if I'm still dominated. Take that shit off me. Get it off. Well, you have the necklace on and she won't tell you to take it off. Um, nobody, don't get it. Coward. <laughs> Let go of my friend! And the Nile was mid-air with the dragon against it, with two daggers in there. Oh my god, she's so big, I have to, like, move her before I move Toke. Okay. The um, scene from, uh... <laughs> god, what's the one about the dragons that take over? Uh, Reign of Fire. Reign of Fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Going, Let go of my friend! The <laughs> <laughs> wagon. Um... <laughs> Okay, and with that, it is the dragon's turn. Um, for Orlaith will not attack said <laughs> dragon. Um, she, as as you come out of the fire, Toke, your eyes alight on Orlaith, who is crying um, and looks very scared, uh, which is a new emotion on her face that you've never seen before. Um, in your dominated state, you wish that you could run to her, but your legs won't move. Um, the dragon laughs, possibly out of, uh, out of, uh, evilness, possibly because of the hideous laughter. Um, and she goes, well, 
Let's make this interesting, shall we? Um, Blaze gotta make another fucking save. Uh, right, she she makes it again, um, and you see uh, again, or well, you guys wouldn't see the magic, but a mo a flicker appears before Orlais' face, uh, where for just one second, you see her eyes darken, and then she shakes her head, and she stares wide-eyed at the dragon, and uh, sort of like, picks up her sword from the ground, and looks a little pissed at what just happened, and you hear the dragon give a, a throaty growl. Um, alright, so that was... Da, 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 da. Um... She can do a third action. Let's see here. Or she could just not, you know. Or she could just not. <laughs> yeah, I know. He has the ability to, with that last action, to take the necklace off of me. <laughs> she, says, she probably does. I mean, she's powerful. She could do that. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, probably a little finger, just like a little bloop. It wouldn't even have to be a full action. It could just be like a, a side thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she turns too fast to think for a moment, and the tail whaps him, and the necklace falls off. <laughs> Absolutely. I love all of this. Um, let's see here. Try to look at a uh, equivalent to this. Do, do, do. All right, so Toke, please make me. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, please make me a fortitude save. DC 26. We're just going to say that's all her. That's the DC for all of her spells and stuff. You got to be okay, good. Okay, sorry. What am I rolling? Fortitude. Fortitude. Uh, okay. 47! 47 for your Oh. <laughs> if this is, if I'm. If I'm. Fortitude, for whatever reason, you go to take that necklace off, and I'm like, no. No, no. Then I rolled a 25. <laughs> you feel a harmful presence try and um, infiltrate your armor, and you hear the dragon give a massive roar in anger as the spell has no effect due to your very, very high fortitude save. Uh, let me see if a critical success will do anything for you. Ah, yeah, you're just unaffected, so you guys are good. You and Aureliath are okay for now. Was that a crit success? Yeah. Yes, it was. Wow. So it's just you are completely unaffected. You don't take half damage, nothing. Um, oh, oh, wait, I saw the necklace on. Fuck. So the necklace on, which you cannot take off, uh, but you are out of the fire and you're not going to take damage on the first part of your round. Um, and you get to make a will save against this dominate at the end of each of your turns. So just heads up on that. Uh, I believe it is Einar next. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're at the stairs, which are not yet crumbled. <laughs> you can make it up. Ooh, cool. Uh, he will hesitate for a moment and be like, oh, I'm going to fucking die with this whole castle burning down uh, but he will continue in his his quest to find his brother uh, you uh, you hear the dragon roar and you're like all right time to go and you hustle up the stairs um, I'm assuming you're going up to the fourth tower yes I believe you said last time that I have a rough idea of where the queen's room is yeah you would um, just based off of like uh, since Nylia was up there and he probably yeah. mentioned that he went up to the tower uh, mm -hmm. and since you took like a you essentially disengaged with this um, 
Mm -hmm. I'll say that you can make you basically make it up to the tower. There are people flitting in about rooms. There is like chaos everywhere, but you're like pushing past people. Um, and uh, you're able to make it up to uh, the, the stairs that I had described that leads up to the tower. You do not see any guards or anything anywhere. Awesome. That's how I like it. Um, I am pulling out my one of my feather totems along the way, but I am not getting ready to use it quite yet. Okay. Also, I don't know if I believe it's still there. Just remember, on the outside of that, the queen's quarters, yeah, or whatever. The, the That's that rope is out there. Yeah. Yeah, and a set of armor, right? I, oh, yeah. did you ever pick your? Arm? Yeah, it's the. No, I, I put the armor back in the barracks. Remember? Oh. I took it back yeah. when I was going back to the thing. You're right. You're right. However, there is a very large man outside of the Queen's Quarters that's not very nice, so, you know, enjoy that. Do you yeah, walk I'm, up the I'm, stairs? I'm, yeah, I'm to keep going. I'm not stopping for anything. You walk up the stairs, and you are expecting a very large man who is not very nice, and you do not see him. However, the door is cracked, and you hear a squelching sound from the inside. Define squelching. Yep, that's what I thought. It doesn't Ooh, sound that good. sounds like skull. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the very big angry man is eating the king. <laughs> I, I mean, I, you know, I'm gonna get as far as my three actions of movement can get me. So. We'll say for story purposes that you've disengaged and you can just fucking run. Um, do you enter the room? Do or yeah. Yes, I I do. Uh, crossbow still out. Okay, you enter the room, and the door hits something hard on the floor. You look down. The a very large man is on the ground, uh, as well as a great Dane-sized red dragon who is fucking tearing into this thing. King Asbjorn is uh, also in the room, completely unharmed. Um, his axe is drawn, it is bloody, and he is, he has a very strange look on his face. Brother, uh, thank goodness you're here. Thank the gods. Come in, come in, quick, close the door. Uh, 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 I will come in, I will not close the door. Uh, I will kind of cross to him, uh, and move towards the window. Uh, I will kind of give him a once over. How's he? How's he looking? Give me that good old perception check. Check I for jewelry. Yeah, yeah, right. Check for jewelry. <laughs> Roll for honest. <laughs> um, that's weird. In this context, I didn't say that. That's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother. For your brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, not great, actually. That's a fifteen. You notice that he is unarmed, or unharmed, he is armed. He's unharmed, he seems to be watching the dragon just out of ad admiration. Um, he does not look shocked or scared to see a dragon in his myth. Um, and as you make your way over the window, um, you see, you know, the side of the window, uh, or so the side of the trap was completely blown out, so you kind of see, like, the back of the dragon. You see people running in every direction, um, and you feel, like, the ground sort of rumble, and you're like, oh, it's gonna come down soon, but, you know, for now, it's not completely destroyed. Um, you feel your brother's hand on your shoulder, and he, uh, he's, he's like, I oh, know, I, the, the, the gold dragon, it is, it is back, it is, it is here to claim her, her spawn, I, when, when she approached, the egg hatched, and he was so hungry, and I, the the guard wouldn't let me join you downstairs, and well. Uh, relax, brother. We are respectfully way past that. I I do not care. 
Oh, we need to right. get out of here right oh, now. Okay. Can you control this thing? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, this is this is blood murder. And at his name, you just hear the red dragon be like. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> His uh, he will definitely pause at that. <laughs> um, the he, King Asbjorn sort of like looks at looks at the red dragon like love in his eyes, like like his son had just been born, like that kind of level of admiration. And he goes, I can I can hear his thoughts. He was born in the darkness. He was abused, pushed to fight while starving. He's been trapped in this egg. He's... This is not a natural birth. Yes, and I... I have many thoughts about that, but I, I am serious. Really, we should get out of here. This can this can wait. Um, uh, hold, give me one, one moment. Uh, I will pull out my... Uh, one of my two remaining feather totems. Okay. Um, I will kind of hold it up to my face uh, and just kind of whisper into it. Um, we have been betrayed uh, get the ships ready um, we must leave immediately I am bringing the king to you uh, be prepared to fight uh, and I will toss the feather out the window um, as soon as it leaves my grasp it'll um, with kind of a magical shimmer turn into a crow um, that will fly off in the direction of the ships I am sending this to uh, whoever we left in charge of the ships, like the, the biggest in command still mm -hmm. among those. Um, it can... It has stats, but I mean, it basically flies in the direction okay. that I choose. Very sick. Um, yeah. King Asbjorn is... is uh, he sort of looks at the red dragon, he's like, uh, well... He, it, he's he's too small to ride, um, but but we can leave. And he will follow you. He will follow. Good, good, um, good. Uh, let us let us go then. You uh, and King Asgorn. Will... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. No, I I will give another glance to the red dragon, kind of warily passing it. Um, Just absolutely chomping on this dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you will. Uh, hold on. Let me let me roll. Yeah, sure. I will uh, <laughs> stop and hesitate and just kind of do like a. Oh, then forgive me. Uh, <laughs> and try to uh, like tear off uh, like one of this guy guy's arms or something, like a big chunk. Okay. Uh, and just kind of <laughs> hand it over to Asbury. <laughs> In case he needs uh, leading, uh, if he has temptation, don't think too hard about it. Let's go and walk out. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go down the stairs. Yes. Okay. Uh, King Asbjorn follows you, and uh, as you guys like leave the room, you hear another screech of the dragon, and then uh, wings flapping. Uh, it's it's the dragon is fairly smart uh so he understands what's going on and he also apparently the king asborn has a huge aversion to the gold dragon so it's fucking off all right you guys are running back down yep next in initiative nylio i thought okay. i held my turn from the first turn because i was first so doesn't that make me last or does that make me no you're still in your oh. initiative order yeah oh okay oh. Okay. Um, so I'm currently in that hallway, and I'm able to basically. Am, am I as disengaged as as Nick was? Um. Yeah, you see, you see, uh, Einar like go up the stairs, and you basically can like take an action to absolutely fucking dip, and like use all of your movement to just start running. Yeah, but what if yeah. I? I. I have something that I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. Technically, still in combat, but okay. it requires a lot of movement. So, how does that work? So, dis disengage is technically two actions. 
Well, you I mean, he's to... yeah, he's already kind of out of. View you are kind of like least. out of the room. Um, Let me put it this way: I want to make my way back to the roof. Okay. Yeah, you want to basically just follow Einar. Kinda, but we ain't doing similar things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you do that. No problem. With your two health points, for sure. <laughs> Three health points. Thank you. Three health points. My bad. <laughs> I um, so low. I, yeah, I know. I I can I'm doing I'm choosing to be a hero instead of instead of be the true rogue and go live my life happily in the town of the <laughs> and shave my mustache off and be completely bald. <laughs> I'm pretty um, sure if we don't get rid of this dragon or at least try to, you're not gonna be able to do that anyway. Yeah. It, that's fair. Well, I'm doing my best here, so this might be the end of Nilio, but I'd like to make my way up to the roof. On the roof. Cool. We'll say that you take a disengage, and then you go up to the roof. Uh, okay. Sort of like, and again, you do the same thing as Einar. You're like running past people, pushing people out of the way. You don't, uh, you lose sight of Einar pretty quickly, but you figured that he's going after the king, um, and you, uh, you're gonna do your same grapple check, essentially, for the grappling hook, or you just wanna climb out the window, right? Um, I mean, I can take either or, right? It doesn't, I just have to, like, climb up it, so One will let's be an go. acrobatics, and one will be a strength. Acrobatics, please. Okay. Roll it up. You want to take it from the third floor, I'm assuming? I'd like to make a deal with Loki. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I have a hero point. You I'm have gonna a use hero, my hero point, point that you can you sure roll. Do, buddy. Absolutely. <laughs> using my hero point. I'd like to make a deal with Loki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18. Okay, okay. <laughs> You, uh, with, with definitely some effort, but, uh, it's not quick or anything, but, like, you're like, <sighs> and it's just, um, uh, you are very aware that the tower could come raining down on you at any moment, uh, and That's you make what I'm it, hoping for. you're making it to the, <laughs> to the roof. Neat. All right. How's that tower looking? Uh, uh. We will come back to that. Oh, or, or hey, you haven't uh, you haven't taken your action yet, right? You've done a disengage. I don't know, have I? You gotta uh, tell me if I can anything. And then, what would you like to do to... Is, per is perception an action? No, that's all for you. Cool. So, I'm gonna roll a perception check to see okay. how that tower... How can... fucked up it is, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. I don't think it's gonna matter if it's fucked up or not, because I know what I'm doing next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, let's Nylio see. Has been I like, light shit on fire, blow shit up, like... <laughs> I am the least sneaky rogue yeah. <laughs> on this part in, in Viking times. <laughs> the Falcon uh, Creek. Uh, <sighs> um, so I rolled a two. I got a eleven. A um, looks fine right now. You hear the dragon... Looks you know, call out and a large rumble that almost like, you know, uh, takes you to your knees, but you're you're able to stand up and you're like, it's probably got another round before it's gonna start crumbling down. Is there anything heavy of an object nearby? On the roof? I mean, yeah. you could like dislodge a brick, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna start. That's my action. Any more, I'm uh, going to bomb or anything. Nope, I don't. But what I do have is... Give me just a moment here. A crowbar. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna light the whole damn castle on fire. <laughs> I mean, the dragon that might won't... last... L light the La castle yeah, on longer fire. than us. Like... Yeah. 100%. Yeah. No, um, I'm going to... Where's that action that I saw yesterday that I can do? Um gonna have to be a little more specific <laughs> yeah i i understand fuck well i should have i should have remembered what it was it's not strike it's um uh ooh. nope nope not shove um 
There was one where I was reading it, and it said that you could... Yeah, force open with athletics. Okay. Uh, using your body, a lever, or some other tool, you attempt to forcefully open a door, window, container, or heavy gate. But with a high enough result, you can even smash through walls. So. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Iron Man this shit? I love it. Dude, I'm going out with a bang. I'm going to like, break this tower and bring it down upon the dragon's head. Okay, okay. I love the <laughs> I love the uh, invent, in, innovation. Um, okay. Okay, so... I have such a high to see. <laughs> so many hit points. <laughs> um, okay. I, I like uh, the idea. Yeah, so you, you unlodge... Uh, <clears throat> A, a, a brick um yeah and um yeah you can you can do that action if you wish okay so athletics what am i gonna have to roll for that because it's an it's an athletics check there's minus two if you don't have a crowbar yeah so i don't have a crowbar so minus two so that means plus five on athletics right avoid and then the the dc uh, depends on the on the wall. Well, it depends on the DM, I guess. But yeah, depends on what you're doing. There's a I whole mean, like there's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I it's mean, a for the record, wall. legendary stone. Yeah, so it'd be a very high DC. Like I'm talking probably nat twenty in order to hit this thing. That might still not even do it. Yeah. Do you have a plus ten to this, or you only have a plus five? Plus five. I have a plus five. Yeah. I don't think yeah. you can actually. But it is falling apart, right? It is falling yeah. apart. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. not in one action, but you can start. You can yeah, start. Like yeah. start I would, in two actions, fun. I would say it's possibility. Um, but you'd have to roll pretty okay. hard. Okay. Okay. So then I'll use my first action to start damaging the wall a little bit more. Okay. So what do I roll for that? Roll an attack with whatever you're attacking. <laughs> attack on the wall with daggers? <laughs> Force open that it was, yeah, it was, it was athletics. Yeah. It was yeah, athletics. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I take a minus two. Yes. Uh, 16. You... Uh, you start trying to push down the wall. Uh, it's maybe a little bit sturdier than you originally thought. And you <laughs> let out a deep sigh. But you're here now. And uh, you, have a, you have a goal in mind. So... Oh, you should take that grappling okay. hook out the window and try to hook it and then pull it down. Um, can I tell? I have an from, idea. That's uh, cool. Could I tell from looking at Toke that, like, I can see the the as I peek up, I can see the necklace, the up, amulet. right? Amulet. Yes, I would say that those are big enough to be absolutely recognizable, especially since Toke has like armor on, so it would probably show. And he's kind of glassy-eyed? Yes. Okay. Um, what would it... I, I don't know... Because uh, you know, I don't know the actions very well here. Um, handing him a potion versus... Taking the... the Trying to rip the necklace off. What, what am I looking at for handing him a potion? No action? One action? As I'm running by? So, if you hand him a potion, debatable about whether or not he's going to take it. But he I would know, have one. That. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I would say both of those are one action. They're both one action. Yeah. Ripping the, ripping the necklace off. It's not just one action, though. There's also a, a check. Um. Y yeah. To destroy the necklace is an. I'm not trying to destroy it. I'm trying to take it off. You're just trying to take it off. off. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you'd have to make. Uh, I suppose that would be a contested, contested roll between you guys, because he would resist. You're like, no, I'm not no, gonna I'm not make gonna that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just. I, I. I gotta do the only thing I can do. I'm gonna chug um, uh, a potion of expeditious retreat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep the laughter spell up, so no reactions still. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, I guess I what I guess what I do is I I I can move 
I can use part of my movement before taking an action, then use the rest of it. Is that true? Yeah, still? absolutely. In, in yeah, yeah, yeah. That... Absolutely. I think so. Okay, I want to use some of my because there's a technicality here. I want to okay. use some of my motion to step up okay. to Toke, hand him the potion as I'm chugging it. For uh, sure. Right. Hand the potion. Sustain. Chug. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Pathfinder's making me do this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, what, what about movement, though, right? Yeah, so I or use is... my movement. Oh, sorry. Oh, the movement is the... the movement is yeah, movement is an action. You movement could... Movement is the, the drink, too. Yeah. The drink makes me move, So that, which means I need to drink it first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you get okay. a free movement that way. <laughs> Well, you could like drink, I drink and then as you're moving, just like pass it to him, and then. I, yeah. Well, the thing is, I can't. I have to flee. I guess I, either way, I'll pass him fleeing, right? Yeah, you could run like that for sure. Okay, I have to flee though. Is the rule? Uh, I, like, if I you want to get the fuck oh, out of here, gotcha. yeah. I can't do anything. That's, that's part of yeah. expeditious retreat. Got yeah. It, got okay. It, got okay. It, got, got, it, got, it, got it. Got it. Got it. Oh. So, I'm going to. Uh, uh, it doesn't make me flee, but if I stop fleeing, it stops working. Right. And you're um, like, I wish it to keep working. Yeah, I want to I want to drink it, Yep. sustain the spell, that's two actions, and yep. tossing the potion is the third action. When I drink it, it gives me stride, so I can move 70 feet. Okay. Which, I think, what was, what was what's your speed, Nelio? Um, 25. Okay, so I'm going 70. He went 50 in his turn, so the, the I can get up to the roof, probably. Yes. Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna go out. I think I'm just gonna go out. You're just gonna fucking leave. Up, All right. Go out of the building, uh, uh, yeah. into like a courtyard area. I want to look. I want to look around and see if I can find anything when I get out there. But I don't have any actions or anything. So I think I'm just make probably just making it outside at that point in time. But. Um, do I have to do anything for Move the, for the your... handoff? Uh, no, I'll say no. Okay. Um, does, go does ahead. Catch it? <laughs> I I would I would imagine that like Alaric like Speedy Gonzalez status like and like literally like pass the baton to him movement. That's what I'm kind of imagining. Yeah, uh, like slip it. Oh, slip I did like a him. little like there. a little like like a just a pass. A pass, and <laughs> uh. Go ahead and move your guy. Go ahead and move Alaric where you want him, Noah. The owlbear looks nuts for me. I can't really see. Like, I, it does looks it? Not, it does, yeah, it looks absolutely nuts. You want you want yours in the courtyard? Is this me? You're the... the, the what? Yeah, yeah, that's you. Yeah, 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 yeah that's you. I'm just a gray rectangle. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm Weird. just a gray rectangle. Weird. Uh, hand, oh, I do have to hand it off. Okay, there he is. Hand it off, and then just... Bam! Straight through here. What is that? That's like five. That's, um, what is that? Like, is that fifteen? I can't really see the squares. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This. Okay. Well, so this, this map kind of is not yeah. the best because yeah. it's technically a thousand by thousand map um, that I got off Dungeon Alchemist, but like the dragon is like. 15 feet on in in the albear measurements so uh -huh. the squares are not that great as far as telling where the movement is and well, that's what's on the way, what's the fastest way outside from here is i guess uh, through here right? through the main through the main main door correct yeah exactly right there yeah. i guess i get right about here yeah we'll movement. say you get out of the building mm-hmm Oh, yeah, it doesn't like it in. Yeah. <laughs> it completely disagrees in, uh, in, in Albear. Um, <laughs> um, I can't use the measure tool. I was trying to use the measure tool. Anyway, that's, that's my whole turn, right? Is sustain, which I think, I think I sustain the spell. I don't think I need to do anything. I think it just sustains. He just does it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's really confusing. I don't, I don't really exactly know how that works. But, um, I wonder if I wonder if the original spell has a, like a maximum duration you can sustain it for. Well, there is a maximum duration, okay. and after that, I take exhaustion or something. But it's a long uh -oh. duration okay. unless it says otherwise. Okay. It just says sustain, and then um, it has a range, but I don't know if sustain cares about that. 
It's a good question. It, yeah, we'll just say you sustain the spell, and that's how yeah. it goes. Um, mm-hmm. Sounds good. I'm sustaining it, sustaining it as long as I can. Sweet. Nah, probably probably not sustaining it for very much longer. Yeah, you're like <laughs> I am actually extremely interested in getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, okay, Toke. Um, you are dominated, and a the queen's voice pops into your mind, and you hear two words. Kill her. You oh, have to shit. attack or leave. I knew where this was going. This is yeah. where it was going. Fuck. Hey, at least okay, you'll what, live. what now? I don't. I can't control myself. Yeah, you have. You must use <clears throat> um, your all three of your actions to attack or move towards or leave. And. Uh, you essentially have to do, like, your best to kill her. He'll be but but hey, save. but she did save on the Dominate, so she's not going to try and kill you. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh... You know, it's the little things. It's the little things. It is. It's so much better killing her while she's conflicted about attacking you back. Yeah. <laughs> I've only really known her about a day. This is true. You love her. It's the one night stand. It's a little early. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's from Dominate speaking. More in the uh, dragons. You're going through a bit of a dragon phase right now. <laughs> So you'll probably do you probably do have to spend an action moving towards her. Okay, so yeah, because she's on the on other, the other side right? of the ring of fire. So essentially, all all our laces is Toke like striding towards her with a glassy look in his eye, and you draw your weapon. Um, or like fully crying. Uh, and pleading with you, but you do not care. And I can't, like, mouth any words or nothing. You will get a will save at the end of your turn. Cool, then I can go back to rolling, like, my normal, like, six and sevens. (laughs) Uh, okay, so I have to use one action to move towards her. So, because she's... Oh, nope, the dragon... It's too damn big. Yeah, the dragon big as hell. Okay, so I'm over here here now. And then, so what, I I essentially have to attack twice? You must attack her twice, yeah. Okay. And am I using my dagger or axe? You... If if the command is to kill her, then whatever does more damage, yeah. Okay. All right. Roll number one is oh, 25. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> that hits. Ah, she can take a round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She her. can take a round yeah. or two. Okay, and for attack number three, or sorry, number two, but it's plus three. Okay, that's a little better. 11. The Doesn't hit. hit. The hitbox of the dragon is so big. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. what I what I meant when I said it was big because yeah. I tried to drag myself and I moved the dragon. Yeah, same. <laughs> okay. And then now, what do I do for? Oh, there it is. Okay, so can I take my will saving rule? Well, how much how much damage do you do to her? Thought it missed. The first well, the one 20, was yeah, the twenty five. Okay. Yeah. So that hits. And the second one was eleven. So just for That's just okay. the twenty-five hits then. Yes. 
So what, do I need to? Yeah, you just roll that, damage for the same, twenty-five. Yeah. In that same rolling screen below the plus eight plus whatever, there should be a damage button. Damage is ten. Okay. You Not bad. fine. She's, She's fine. good. She's fine. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give her anything. I knew she couldn't handle. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a friendly, you know, friendly, friendly fight. The battle. Uh, <laughs> 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 friendly assassin. <laughs> well, well, here I go killing again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I can do my will saving throw. Roll. Yes. Whatever it's called. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, I clicked on. Oh, well, told you. I told you. We're right yeah. back at it. You have a hero point if you want to use it now. No, didn't I use it? Do you get it one per turn or you get it one per session? One per session, I think. Correct. Which is oh, so crazy. Crazy. yeah. Do they stack? Like if you didn't use one last session, do you no. get another? No. It, it, it resets to one. It resets to one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Let's do it. Reroll it. Twenty-five. Oh shit! So Damn, it had to be twenty-six, huh? So <laughs> close. <laughs> oh, shit. For for one minute, as as your as your axe hits or lace armor, and she cries out in pain and anguish, for just a moment, your your mind is your own, and you feel immense grief and and anger towards the situation, and then your mind is clouded once more by the amulet. How long am I unclouded in that moment? Can just I also like, just like literally say the word second. necklace? <laughs> no. Can it's I just, like, go, just like a second. I got a quick question though. Like, yes. So he's fighting somebody that, that he's had some connection with. Those right. Time. Is there like a bonus for like extenuating circumstances? <laughs> yeah, do I get some kind of bonus? Is well, there, I don't know, maybe like a circumstance bonus? <laughs> <laughs> um... I will say that Orlaith is uh, very close with the queen and like Laszlo, and she may she may understand like what's going on, and she may be able to overcome it. So she may know about the necklace um, and its powers, uh, but uh, we'll find out on her. Turn. We'll find out on her turn. Which is apparently before the dragon's turn. Which is yeah, she's she's last at the initiative because she was shook. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Um and that is Well damn. The dragon's turn, correct? Isn't the dragon so. first? Sure. Do your thing. Okay. So wouldn't Kill wouldn't us all. uh or Lathe be up next then? Oh, my bad. You're correct. Uh or Lathe um uh cries out in anguish as you as you hit her and she screams your name and attempts to grapple the necklace from you so we will do a contested grapple check um this is what do you get to um what do you get to this uh what do i what but what's your bonus to athletics? Yeah, what's your bonus to athletics? Oh, to athletics. Eight. Eight? Not bad. Oh. Um, More athletic than I am. Yeah, I mean, it's much better than me. Are you kidding? I have to be athletic. I'm a fucking dumpy man. <laughs> There's exactly eight more than I have in athletics. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, she has a... She My has boy a... over here, zero win athletics, hit a necklace out of the air with a crossbow. That was a dumb <laughs> luck. <laughs> That was cool as fuck. Not athletic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so she has a plus seven to athletics and plus nine to will saving throws. Good odds. Okay. Not not terrible odds here. I I I I, I I'm not gonna say that I roll bad because I haven't been. So go ahead and what's your what's your roll, Toke? I'm rolling athletics, right? Yeah. yeah. 
come on, shitty roll. It's a nine. I rolled a one. <laughs> no. You rolled a one? Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. That's yeah, good. that's part that's of good. it, right? Really dirty dirty I want to lose this fight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She rolled a dirty 20. She jumps on you. She's much bigger than you. And so, even though you were able to best her in the arm wrestling contest, she is obviously overcome with power and emotion in this. And she rips the necklace off of you and throws it to the ground. Um, I'll make a literally the same thing. It doesn't break on the ground, but it, it is uh, it's about five feet from you. I am free! Tok, Tok, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? We must leave. <laughs> Pick me up and carry me away from the slave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hold on. Yeah, so she, so she did a grapple check. She has an attack. She can stride. Um... So she can do that. I don't want to throw anything. You know what? Never mind. I'm actually stay completely quiet. What are you gonna say, Griff? Nope. Not <laughs> saying it. <laughs> nope. She got two actions left. Let's do it. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a bad thing, and I don't want the bad thing to happen. No, no, okay, say it after. Say it, uh, say it when it's safe left. to say it. Okay. Okay. So she can go. Fireman movement here. is 25 um or throw me <laughs> I, don't care. I, I would say i would say she can pick you dragon. up she can pick you up and uh that'll be an action and then she can move 25 feet which is out of the room essentially Sick. i already yeah, feel a little safer well i guess we'll go, i guess we'll i guess we'll go this way that's yeah, she's trying to like... dip it's gonna be really cool, like the walls being knocked down as they run through hallway. <laughs> yeah, we just narrowly miss a chandelier falling from the sky. Yeah, <laughs> full, full, Eric. everything's collapsing. Now it falls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say, Griff? I want to know. No, I'm not gonna say it for a minute. Okay, I gotta wait fine. until everything. Wait, <laughs> everything... has the action been completed? Where, where is Toke and Orleith? They are the following Alaric the fuck Almost out of here. Almost out, yeah. out the castle. Okay, so what has been done now cannot be undone, correct? Correct. Weren't they concept. still in the fire? Weren't they still no, no, in the ring of fire? Took, no, they weren't. She, she took, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she took the she dragon. Took the dragon. Yeah. Oh, okay, but I missed that part. But I, I didn't want to say that and then have it be like, and he, she's like, oh, yeah, and then, <laughs> you know, you're just screwed. So. No, 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 no. No, when Orlaith begged for, for mercy, the dragon yeah. said, I'll spare you. And then, and then oh, that's dragon. right, and she plucked you and then yeah, took yeah. you out. Okay. The dragon was like, I'll spare you, and then immediately forced them to attack each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It actually that's worked out great. It actually did work out, yeah. Because <laughs> I have essentially rolled like shit this entire session, and it finally paid off. <laughs> Um, when it mattered most. Or rolled like shit, like the entire six sessions so far. <laughs> uh, you're, you're the ex machina. <laughs> you, won the, uh, <laughs> you won the arm wrestle contest. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but I did, I you've did just have, been uh, like drunk and dead this whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've I've by far had the most relaxing journey so far because I like. Fruit. I met somebody. You gotta let, yeah, you, you met someone. Up. I got to drink and eat <laughs> to like, the whole time. Toast on vacation, fam. I went and just like hung out in the ocean. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I've actually Doing had a nothing. good long life. <laughs> I'm chilling in my <laughs> Okay. I mean, that's his whole. That's his whole vibe. Is just, I'm old. I've seen it all, dude. I'm done. I'm gonna relax when I can. Have you seen this before? <laughs> okay, it's the dragon's turn. So, you hear her, everyone in a, in a several mile radius hears a deafening screech from the dragon as she is, all of her prey runs away, and uh, she will use her breath weapon. Let me see if I'm reading this right. It's probably fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. So, 
a blast of flame in a 40-foot cone uh, shoots out and start and like start and lights up everything in the chapel. Um, if if the werewolf was, was alive, he's definitely dead now. Um, that was my kill, dude. <laughs> Fucking chaos, chaoser. Let's see here. Let hey, me just go, go show. Go show. Go show her. Yeah. <laughs> show, show your anger. <laughs> I'm planning on it with a big old steeple roof, and it's gonna hit her <laughs> real soon. Once I figure out how. <laughs> so go ahead and make a reflex save uh, for me, Took. And or Leaf. And or Leaf. Alright, what am I rolling? Yeah, it's a plus five. Reflex. I shit you not another nat twenty. Yes. Jesus Christ. She's she's emboldened by the power of love. Yes. <laughs> Twenty two. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Uh, you guys are gonna take significantly less damage than what it says. Um, it's supposed to be fifteen d six fire damage. So. Jesus Christ. 15d6? 15, 15, I don't even know if I have 15d6, to be honest. I, I probably do, I but... <laughs> um, you want me to just, like, roll for you on the thing? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I weird. You only got ones and twos. I don't I don't know why. Yeah, yeah weird. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So we're basically going to do... Half rounded down. Which is 66. Oh. How many how, how many hit points you got, Coke? Is he taking Coke? Sorry, I, <laughs> Are you dead? I, Wait, I thought. You yeah, I'm, I'm here. I thought somebody was at the door. It's just Jenny banging around. Uh, sorry, what am I. How many hit points do you, do you have? I have 28. Left or he has total? more than what's the... <laughs> Left. <laughs> Total, I have 43. Yeah. So as long as it's below 27, and, and we're good. And uh, Orlaith took 11 points of damage, is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so she has... She's gotta be beefy. She's built like she a She has tank. 39 hit points left. Oh, Lord. That's bad. Okay, so let's see. Ten. Is it your bad or our bad? I mean, I, I don't, mean, she's I don't, playing both sides. Yeah, so. like I, te I technically <laughs> want my lovers to live, but <laughs> it was a shitty roll or a good roll? It was, it was, it was like a lot. It was like high. Roll. Some of these are high. Okay, so 10, 16, 20, 26 points. You're still alive, <laughs> right, Toke? Yep, I got two points left, baby. And you have a health potion, is Potions. that right, Noah? Yeah, I got... He was handing something, I'm assuming no, it was well, a health Yeah, potion. what'd you hand Toad? He didn't, he didn't say what he handed. I didn't do a potion. Okay, so you have a potion. Gonna... <laughs> he has the potion of fleeing. You have the blue potion of fleeing. <laughs> 39 minus... What'd I say? 26? Yeah, okay. 26. Yep. So, you guys are like, okay, in every movie, right, where there's like a giant explosion and you guys are like, Whoa! and like flying <laughs> forward, um, you almost catch up with Alaric at how forward you're flung, um, but you guys are technically outside of the <laughs> castle. The entire first floor, um, especially like the guards and the chapel and all that, is now starting to light up. Um, it will be impossible to come down the stairs without taking fire damage. Nope, good thing he just fell down it. I don't think anyone- oh, wait, no. <laughs> we got people <laughs> yeah, running no, down the stairs nobody's right now. up Shit. the stairs, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's All right. windows. And... Okay, that was just her breath weapon. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she then That's takes bad. flight like Smaug. At least two actions. I hope. Yeah, it. yeah. Okay. Um. One action left. 
Let's see here. Unless she's special, I don't know. She could have she's very special. Um. Do 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 do. I have no idea how high level combat works in Pathfinder. Uh. You guys don't see this, but the dragon becomes invisible, and you hear oh, a giant great. flapping of wings. Excuse me? Yeah. Wait. You say invisible? Invisible. Invisible, bruv. That fucking big dragon just fucked off, like, <laughs> thin air, it's just fucking gone. It's gone. No! <laughs> cool. That's her turn! Fantastic. It can't be that stealthy. I know. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you probably hear the wings, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, have to go. We probably hear, like, a giant. Yeah, you hear wings. Yeah, that's... Just split in air. Uh, that um, would be so terrifying. <laughs> no, what'd yeah, you say? It actually is. No, nothing. Oh, okay. Um, Baba. Einar, your turn. Cool. Well, I didn't see that. You didn't see any of that. <laughs> You're just fucking uh, running with Asbjorn. <laughs> yeah. I will c keep continuing down the stairs until I see that there is fire up ahead. <laughs> you guys basically uh, get to the the second level and you look down the uh, stairs and you see the flames are starting to crawl up. Um, King Asbjorn goes, uh, we cannot go this way. Well, we could, but yes, that would probably not be preferable. Um, we do how not have far fire up... resistance. <laughs> <laughs> it is better, you know what, fine, you're right. Uh, how far up is the second floor from the ground? Um, okay, I looked this up too. How tall are stories, essentially? Like uh, 11, 12 feet, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, so I, I believe... Standard is about 10 feet. Right, so I believe what I said was that the f third floor had 10-foot ceilings. So this is definitely higher ceilings, because I also didn't yep. say that she had broken the second floor. And since okay. she's 15 feet, we're going to say that it's like 16, 18 feet about there. Okay, so almost 20, then. Almost 20. Okay. So cool. you te technically could jump out a window um, yeah. and take some falling think? damage. Uh, I will kind of glance towards Asbjorn uh, and be like, Yes, I, I do not want to go through fire. Also, uh, the danger is uh, down there somewhere. Uh, how do you feel about jumping? Uh... <laughs> Not, not amazing, but okay. Yes, that was my thoughts as well. Let's do it. Um, I will look for the, I guess, closest. Well, let me look at the map. Let me look at this map. Really. It doesn't show the second floor, unfortunately. It doesn't. Um, okay, so just for, for you guys, it's... Um, when you fall more than five feet, you take bludgeoning damage equal to half the distance you fell when you land. Okay. Got Unless it. you have nim or a cat fall or nimble feet or whatever it is. Which is actually way better than um Yeah it is. Uh D. Well, I mean, yeah. No, no, it's worse. It's it's worse. Oh, is it worse? Actually. Yeah, because yeah, it's one D six per like Feet, but I think the first one was free or something, so... Oh, right, right, yeah, you get free fall for a little bit. Um, so you would take 10, ten bludgeoning ten damage, damage, yeah, which is not, yeah. not terrible. Uh, not great. Not sure how not much terrible. hit points you have left. I haven't been keeping track of you guys, but... I, I don't, I haven't taken anything yet. I okay, well, yeah, you're fine. King Asbjorn's fine. Yeah, true. The dragons... I would hope he has more than 10 hit points, but, you know, he did just come out of the... Honestly, actually, uh, whatever. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> um, I will look for what's uh, currently looking down the stairs and kind of looking to my side. What side of the building am I on? Oh, great question. Am I, um, am I on this eastern side? 
excuse me. Yes, you would be like above where your rooms would be, essentially, or mm, uh, like okay. right yeah. where the stairs are. So you could you could kind of move over yeah. here and go like the back way. That is possible. Yeah. Uh, and what direction the the docks are to the southwest? Is that what that is? Yes. Okay. There is a moat. You know, we're going to worry about the moat later. <laughs> um, I, yeah, then I will look for... I'll kind of back up from the stairs a little bit, go a little bit more down that south hallway, and then just look for... Just try doors until I find one that's unlocked uh, and hope that it has a window. Yeah, you start trying doors. Um, no one locked their doors when they flood the castle, fortunately awesome. for you. So you find an unlocked door pretty fucking quickly. And... Um, it's a very nice palace, so most people have windows. They are, uh, they're not, like, modern, able to open windows, so you will have to break the window, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll just shoot it out. If I can. With my crossbow. Alright. Or, I, I mean, conceivable, would it be a roll to see if I can break it by, like, thrusting my body through it as I fall? <laughs> King Asborn, like, holds you back as, as he sees you doing this. He's like, brother, this is, I can do this. And he just, like, swings the axe and just... You're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, You're really overthinking quite, oh. this. <laughs> After you, I guess. Uh, uh, you uh, okay! And he's sort of like, he's not, he's a big dude, so he's not super nimble, but he does just sort of like, oh, out the window. <laughs> and he will take, uh, some, he will take, uh, some falling damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, I glance warily at the dragon. Does well, you don't see, you don't see it no more. Him? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Is, is, the red I, dragon! Do I know follow me? The red dragon um, uh, flew out the door at the top of the tower, and you don't see it anywhere. Fun. Uh, and when I say fun, I mean not fun. You're like, not great. But you have no idea what King Asbjorn, like, instructed the dragon to do. Proof. He could have, he could have, yeah. like, told him, hey, meet me at the ship or whatever the heck. Um, yeah. And I'm not running in after him, so yeah, I'm just gonna uh, pause for a moment and then leap out after Asbury. Perfect. All right, you guys take uh, some fallen damage here. Uh, so you take ten falling damage. Uh, I'm assuming that's my turn. That is your turn. Um, you don't land, land prone, because it's not hundreds of feet up. Oh. Um, cool. I am a little more nimble than Asgore as well. Yes. You do, you you land much better than him. And he's, like, dusting himself off, and you, like, land. And you land in such a way where you're not, uh... You sort of can, like, roll and, like, get up pretty quickly. Um... I'm definitely limping. Yeah. By the way, the map is accurate. There's fully a bolt boat there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. Convenience. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Nine, Leo. Yo. What we doing? Okay, so... She is, uh, like, the queen dragon is the one that turned invisible and then just left, right? Yes, you, so you're on the yeah. tower and you're trying to, you're like, huh, like trying to break it. And then you like look down and you're like, oh shit, where'd she go? And you just hear like a, you hear like a wind in, in the air, but you don't see the gold dragon anymore. All right, well, I'm on the roof and I am a rogue, so... I say we go ahead and use this nifty skill called fucking hide. <laughs> fucking hide. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, it's a stealth check. Okay. Huddle behind cover. Crazy recover. You roll a check in secret and compares the result of the perception DC of the creature that you I was observed by. <laughs> okay. Were you observed? I don't know. Was I observed? You don't know. You don't know. It went invisible. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I got a 16. Again. Okay. You hide. And you are like heavy breathing. And you're just like, please don't find me. Please don't find me. Please don't find me. (laughs) Uh, That's your only action. Is that right, Nileo? Correct. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, yeah, I guess that's my only action for now. Wait, can I? Go ahead. Wait, can, okay. So I'm not sure how my design, my disguise kit works. Um, I just know that I have one, and is the. It's essentially a makeup kit. Okay. Do I have to roll in order to make myself look like somebody? And if so, what would that roll be? I don't believe that you have to roll anything. It would it would be more if you were trying to pass yourself off as someone. They would make a perception check. Okay. Um. Just guys, who who? Gray and lay down when then with like the castle brick or shingles <laughs> or whatever up there. Well, I'm trying to think. I mean, we're drawing to a close here, so I don't want to prolong it too much. But I was thinking, who besides Laszlo, who was like fucking uh, dominated, who? Does she trust the most that we've met so far? I mean, uh, really no one. I'm going to be honest. I think she's going to kill anyone she sees. <laughs> oh, okay. She's, killing, she's killing everybody. She killed the men, her men inside, so. Yeah. I think she's fucking pissed. The secret's out. Yeah. So I paint myself gray, and I lay you're gonna against the roof black. You're going to paint the this. You're going <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. to... Yeah, dude. Shit. <laughs> you are not bleeding. And then I'm going to do my cat and his shit on the way out. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Make me a perception check, Milio. Okay. Let's do a perception check. Fifteen. Remember how, like, the last session you rolled, like, all 25 and ups? (laughs) Which felt so good. And then, of course, the dragon had to come out. And it was like, oh, yeah, by the way, like, you're on fire. (laughs) (laughs) When right before, I was like, I'm on fire! He's like, no, seriously, you're, you're on fire. Um, you no longer see the gold dragon, um, but as you're sort of, like, painting yourself into a shadow here, <laughs> there's, like, other, like, chimneys and stuff that you can hide around. Uh, you look very uh-huh. quickly to, uh, <clears throat> to each side, and you see a very small red dragon flying through the air away from the castle. Away from the castle. Yes. Do I have any actions left? Let's see. You disguised yourself. Well, I'm, I'm assuming... in the process of disguising myself. Yeah, but you, yes. yeah. You're you're disguising yourself, which is one action, right? And then I would okay. assume that hide is another action. I guess so. Yeah. So I have no actions left. So you have one more action that you technically could do. Where is my... I will just point out. I'm yeah. not going to tell you how to do anything. Uh, probably going to be obvious where you are if you take a shot at this thing. At the dragon? Yeah. What if I'm not going to take a shot at it? What if I'm going to use skill command an animal? <laughs> <laughs> What's the Fucking range on good that? Luck. <laughs> What's the range on that? What's that? Uh, it doesn't have one. Okay. I imagine it has to be in. Like within you shouting issue an distance. order. To... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Attempt a nature check against the animals. Will DC the GM might adjust the DC if the animal has a good attitude towards you? Blah 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 blah. You automatically animal fail. Animal doesn't the know who you hostile. are. So. Is the is the animal hostile or unfriendly towards me? No. No. So it's not an automatic failure. 
You know, stuff you do increase your success by one step. You have to command an animal more easily with a feat like ride. Most animals know the drop prone, leap, seek, strand, stride, base, strike, basic action, blah, 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 blah. Um. Wait, can I? Oh. No, it doesn't really have one. I mean, I, th I guess I'll leave that up to you. Yeah, we'll say it's shouting range. Okay. Um. But also then you'd be shouting at it. Yeah, then you would be shouting. So you, uh, I mean, I will let you shout uh, before you get in your hiding spot, I guess. So you... Um, okay. You so know. those are my three actions. I'm just switching the... Yeah, you're, we'll, we'll say that you can switch the order. So you can, like, shout, hide, disguise. <laughs> Well, I want to command the dragon to fucking yoink me out of it and fly me away. Okay, make a roll. All right, and nature then, roll. And then hide. <laughs> and then and then hide. Twenty-three. Okay. Okay. You see, uh, uh what, what are you gonna shout? What are you gonna shout to the dragon? Take me to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> might... Did, did Take you me specific... that way. <laughs> <laughs> he, he takes you to the little dinghy I'm right behind him. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> He's going to take you to the little boat. <laughs> or take okay. me to your den. Go find Mr. Friendly Dragon. This is the, this is a newly hatched yeah, dragon though. Yeah, the newly born. Oh, I you would know that, but so I don't yeah, know if it he's is. he's Great Dane size, so that so you cannot ride him. Oh, oh, but, okay, I didn't know that. But he Earth. could possibly carry you, like in his claws. Yeah, he should be strong enough to to kill him. Or kill him. He's strong <laughs> to kill me. Kill you, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, three hit points. <laughs> he digs his talons at me to lift me off, and it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he care. <laughs> <laughs> you see that the dragon looks in your direction and there's a moment of hesitation and it sort of is like, uh, um, cause it's been commanded to like leave essentially. Um, and It begins to head towards the castle. Um, it's about, we'll say shouting distance is like, what, 50 feet? Right, sure. that's what we said last time. Um, sure. So it's going to take him... He'll be there on your next turn. Okay. And then you could maybe <laughs> convince him to give you a ride. <laughs> okay. I keep forgetting to use my freaking assurance skill. Alaric, what are we doing? Are you? I, I, so I, I keep. I feel like when I'm moving it, I'm shorting Not myself on movement. Uh, just based on, I, I, I guess I don't. I can't tell which squares are which, so I must be shorting myself. But I would like to use all three of my actions to get the fuck out of here. Just leave. <laughs> Just leave. Are you, I'm are you still at somebody's, 70 Somebody's got to get the boats ready. Absolutely. Yeah. What was that question? Are you still at 70 feet of movement? I am, yes. So I moved 210. Oh, Dipping yeah, you get through. far. We're going to say you, like, get into the forest. I, I'd say that's fair. Where is it? Can you can you point her at it? I can't see it anymore. Oh yeah, it's it, he, he, I, she moved you so far. Yeah, there I you go. There. Oh yeah, yeah. See, I would have moved myself like literally a third of that distance. Well, so the measurement says like seventy feet from there. So I'm like, okay, like oh, okay. double would be, you know. I was using. I was still using the the the, the grids. Yeah, the grids are just like not that accurate, so I don't I don't want you to feel shorted, but they're not they're just not that accurate and that's yeah, no, go that's Dungeon Alchemist's fault, but you know. Yeah, um yeah. uh you run 
as if the dragon is personally chasing you, which for all you know, it could be. <laughs> um, and you, uh, you basically make it to the woods and you have a little bit of cover um, as you're just fucking booking it, just running. <laughs> Uh, that's my, those are that's all three of my the, actions. That's all. That's all your movement, right? Okay, those cool. All three of my that's actions. all. That's all your actions. Alex's plan is oh. G T F O. <laughs> Choke. Um. Huh. Or Lath is carrying you, and you guys have been blasted out of the front door, essentially. Um. Do you wish to do anything besides run? Yeah, I gotta heal. Okay, I'm yeah. dying. I'm dying. <laughs> also, how far did we get blasted out? Because we're out of, we're not inside anymore, right? Like we'll we made like, it. We'll say like right there. Okay, and okay. Uh, Okay, we decided the lesser... What what kind of potion did you give me? Noah? I gave you a potion of expeditious retreat. Okay, and how far does that take me? It increases your speed by, by 40 while you are fleeing. Oh my gosh, please switch spots with Orlaith and just start carrying her. Carry her? Well, yeah, her, over, it, her, her arms are so, yeah. her feet are so long, she has to kind of like keep them up from like hitting the ground. <laughs> you short. just hold her like this from her ass with two hands. Yeah. And just <laughs> Full cartoon, yeah. Two kids in a coat, it like just <laughs> up on. You're strong, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got this. Okay, so I'll take, uh, well, I need to take a pose. I for sure need to take like an actual potion. Like a Cause this potion. dragon so much is breeze in my direction to get him dead. Uh, oops, that's not so healing potion left. So the lesser potion is restores two d eight plus five, and the minor restores one d eight. Okay, so it's better to take the lesser. Okay, um, so I just have to roll a. I read this again, so put 2d8 plus 5. So we're 8. So I'm. I'm rolling the 1d8 twice. Is that what that means? Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah. Is that. That's what it means? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so first one is. Six. Okay. Second, second one is two, so eight. You heal eight hit points. Plus five. Plus five. But plus five. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you heal so 13. thirteen. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's still breathable range. Be left with two. Yeah. Yeah. True. Okay, so when I so when I drink that potion, does it automatically automatically count as moving like the seventy feet for me, or you then stride on the same action you take the potion? Yes, so you get to move an additional. Uh, for you, it wouldn't be seventy feet; it'd be sixty. What's your speed? Yeah, prob probably sixty-five. Twenty. Or I don't know. Uh, oh, so, so sixty. Yeah. Sixty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I could technically take two potions. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And. And then use that, and that'll count as like a movement, right? Yeah. 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 So only one movement. So if you use your third action to move, you'll move twice, essentially. Oh, but but I would have to use a Another separate action. action to pick or lace up to run, right? You should oh. pick her up before you drink it. Yeah. Okay, so then sure. I can't use the yeah, second sure. potion. It's just potion, pick her up, drink it. And then that'll move you. And then you yeah. get the okay. movement. But yeah, I'm saying, but I don't get to drink one. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so no second potion. Okay, so yeah. Uh, oh, so I, you get yes, the second, second potion. potion. Yeah. 
you get a free movement upon drinking the first potion. Okay, so okay, so I drink the first lesser you drink, potion. You drink healing first. And okay. Then, yeah. You heal up. Action. You switch yeah. spots yep, with Orlaith. You... you drink yep. the yep. the potion of flea or expeditious and retreat, right? Automatically gives you movement at at that third action. Yeah. So it's yeah, but what I was saying is that I can no longer, but I can no longer drink two healing potions is what Correct. I'm saying. Correct. Yeah, yeah, you can't drink two healing okay. potions. Okay, so then let's switch spots and then I'll drink the potion and then dip. Get rid of one of those potions. And I am out 60 feet. It's going to be fun because I feel like we're just going to switch positions again and it's just going to carry me. Yeah, that would be fun. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. um, uh. I'm doing my best to, to, to keep up here. Uh, like running out of here. So that took you 70 feet. So am I just behind you just a no, little no, bit? No, 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 moved no, no, no. like 210 feet because you used all oh, three gotcha. actions to move. Okay. So yeah. you're like, you're like the at the corner the of the castle, the the left so like corner. over here. Oh, he's going that oh. way. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. Right, because that's where. Yeah, that's where all our, our stuff mean, is. Yeah. I don't well because if I run the other way, then I'm running towards where we last saw the dragon. Correct. Yeah, I don't want yeah, to. Do that. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> okay. This is true. <laughs> As I'm running, can I also speak to Orlaith? Absolutely. Can I ask her what is inside the tome? Does it go anywhere? I, I thought the tome was was only a, a place of rest, but the I, I I do think it may lead somewhere. I don't you know have where no, though. No idea of any any tunnels. Any idea of anything? It is a it, it is an underground tomb, but the, <laughs> I don't I don't know where it quite leads. Okay, well we're we're hurt. Got a dragon. I'm assuming is coming. I think our best bet is getting there, inside of there. I can think of nothing scarier than not only than not only a, a gold dragon following everyone, but you do not know where that shit is. Yeah. So I want to get inside before mm -hmm. it. Fair. <clears throat> Although this dragon's gonna be able to clear like a mile with one move. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. That's it for me. Okay, Orlaith, um, she's being carried, isn't going to do anything. Um, well, hold on, let's see if she has, are you still hurt? I healed, I am now at, uh, 15 HP, out of 43. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'm like, paladins can heal, can champions heal? He's not a champion. No, but he is Orlaith is. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I don't remember. Uh, yes, they can. Okay. Okay, um, she's going to do Lay on Hands, which does 2d6 um, of healing. Okay. Four points. Sick. Yikes. <laughs> What's very good? <laughs> Doesn't do this very often. Yes, I'm more of the killing, not so much of the healing, but I do have this just in cases. Uh, okay. Just in cases. <laughs> you know, if you want to pick me up and roll. Or lay up the big, just in cases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so. That is the dragon's turn. Um.
Oh, sorry, Lathe is just gonna disregard everything I said about getting inside there. I know you can carry me. I mean... You're carrying her. You're carrying her, yeah. True. But she was carrying me, so it's not impossible to switch. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see here. Alright, let the killing spree begin. Yeah. Um... She's I not know. laughing anymore, right? Because <laughs> no, I don't think we can That's sustain funny. this well. Yeah. It's really funny. <laughs> so scary, though. <laughs> right, invisible. Where the fuck is it coming from? <laughs> it's so fucking scary. <laughs> You're just um... like she's in my head. <laughs> okay. Um. Einar and King Asbjorn. Yeah. You feel the ground rumble. As you are getting okay, into the, the other into way. the boat, and uh, let's see here, this bitch has a lot of spells. Let me just say, How dare I build such a baller character? Uh, okay. Yeah, she's probably like level four or something. You know? Oh yeah, totally level four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely, I would totally not just fuck you guys. Um, okay. Uh, she's gonna use her highest spell slot. <laughs> Fun for you guys. Um, and as you guys um, like look up to what you expect to see the dragon, you are met with a blinding light. Um, let's see if there is a save for this. Okay. Please make me a reflex saving throw. I'm very good at those. Okay, well, yay. Let me see what our boy... Hey, I don't remember what the DC is, but that's a total of 26. <laughs> that is that's the exact DC that you need. <laughs> um, I have a plus 11 to that. Okay. King Asmir doesn't have that good of this. I couldn't see that coming. Is the is? I kid you not. Another Are you... at twenty. Oh my god. Okay, this this dice is great. I'm gonna start using this dice more on my other characters. Not uh, to uh is 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 uh Blotmulder in this as well? No. Blood Mother is a like on the roof, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Uh so you guys So even though he got a nat 20, he only has a plus four. Um he's just not he's just not very reflexive. He's a big dude. Um If he got a if he got a nat 20, doesn't that mean crit success? Oh, you're right. You're right. Um So you're going to take half damage on this, Einar. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Which is 4d10. So, one sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. This is the Trinivale dice, just in case anyone is wondering. Okay, okay. Um, 16 points of damage. Understood. Are you it down? Just, or are you good? I am not down, no. Okay. I'm, well, I'm not good. 
but I'm <laughs> not down either. You're like, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> uh, you guys are in the boat, and you guys are. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. It doesn't say that you're blinded or anything. Okay. If you critically failed, then you would become blinded permanently, which is insane. Um, you right. Okay. Yeah. Odin above, man. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're right. My bad. Uh, and she's going to fly back up. Not that you guys is see she... that. But... Yeah, she's still invisible. That didn't oh. break her invisibility or anything. Right? Uh, yeah, let me look up that for Pathfinder. Let me see how that operates. Visibility. Do you know how concentrate works, Noah? I have no clue. I don't have any concentration spells. I don't have any concentration. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what sustain is, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I mean, there are spells that have the concentrate trait though so. um, I don't know about that um, let's see here oh yeah I do remember that actually um, if the target uses a hostile action the spell ends after that hostile action is completed so yes oh, for it does disappear cool yeah good job Nick good job um, and then uh, let me no, just I check. I don't know if that makes it better. <laughs> I'm be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're like, oh, goodness, she's large. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, you guys are ripping through some of her spell slots. Um... She is going to hmm. She's gonna try that spell that didn't work before. Okay. Um, so our King must make a fortitude save, which he is very, very good at. Um, ooh, <laughs> he doesn't make it. Um, right. Yeah, okay. And he takes... And piercing damage. You see um, all over Asbjorn's face cuts and um, wounds begin to open up over his skin. Uh, he uh, yells in pain and the cuts seem to ling uh, like linger and grow bigger. That is her turn. She flew up. So, I know it's your turn now, right? Yeah. All right, what you gonna do? You're uh, in the boat. You're in the boat. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> um, the dragon how is far... is very large. <laughs> yeah, she flew back up, like towards the roof, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Does she appear to still be kind of focused on the duo here? Yes, you you can gain that the person that she probably cares the most about killing is King Asbjorn. Cool. Uh, do I get the sense then that there is no more charm going on here? <laughs> On, on the king. Oh, no. yeah. The, he is no longer yeah. he is no longer charmed by the queen. Cool. Cool. A 
okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a couple things here. Okay. I'm gonna turn to Asbjorn. Brother. Kind of glance up towards the dragon and back to him. I think this is it. King Asbjorn. To... Oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I want you to promise me that you're going to run. I will try to distract it. This is not over, but this is not a fight we can win. Not now. You need to return. The boats are expecting you. You need to leave. Promise me. Do not wait for me. Do not wait for Alaric. Leave immediately. Do you understand? He looks... down and you can see like tears falling into his beard and he sort of like grasps your arm and and says to you Odin is waiting in Valhalla and he starts fucking running <laughs> um, I will watch him go uh, pull out my last potion <laughs> okay, okay. I will down it. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. I mean, fucking sure. Double ones, but every bit helps. <laughs> Deal with Loki. <clears throat> uh, not on. No, um, not on the yeah. on the healing. Uh, also, for what it's worth, I have no idea if it's going to come up again. But I. But yeah, still have made yeah a deal with Loki. exactly. Einar does it actually have a deal with Loki that has not come up, so it could really fuck him in this moment, which is it very could, funny yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, after down it, he will toss it to the side, um, kind of raise his crossbow, staring up at the dragon, uh, and just shout out, um, uh, "I am Odin's chosen." You cannot kill me. I killed your son. Please hold. <laughs> Nerdrap. The brass one. I slaughtered him. I spread his blood on my skin. Are you going to let that slide? Uh, I will try to make her more interested in me in this moment. Wow. Amazing. Um, and gain her attention. I don't know what you want me to roll. Roll an... Intimidation check? Your like massive dong check, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Deception, <laughs> imitation, you. or persuasion. Whichever one is the, is the highest of that. I mean, diplomacy is the biggest for me. Okay, I don't know if yeah. it really fits here, but I will roll it if you tell me to. Yeah, I'll 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 give you the the, the bump because that was fantastic. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, this man. was D and D and B advantage. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, uh, I I would I would. Okay. Yeah, what? No. What? No. I was like, what? Are you laughing? I'm 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 sad. Oh no. I will use a hero point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 to... <laughs> Reroll it. That was a two. Oof. Okay. That's a total of 23. Okay. You take those. As you utter the dragon's name and call upon Odin, you see the dragon's attention turn from King Asbjorn to you. And... Uh, she gives another screech and you feel that you have done what you came here to do. You, you have her attention. Uh, still with my crossbow raised, I will uh, just slowly close my eyes and whisper a final prayer to Odin as I accept my fate. Alright. And you're taking it. You haven't. 
You haven't moved. You just called out to her or anything. I'm just staying put. Okay. You don't want to attack or anything? No. I mean, if I <laughs> if I sense it would piss her off more, I guess maybe. But um, no, I I think I think in this moment his uh, he just wants to give a a last um, prayer to Odin. Make a religion check. I'm good at those. Yeah. <laughs> you fail in praying to Loki. It's critical <laughs> failure. <laughs> not even Loki, but... You're not going to believe me. Shut the fuck up. It's a nat fucking 20. Which <laughs> 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 it actually come from. Amazing. Holy okay. shit. That okay. was great. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think you accidentally get Loki on the line instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, actually... You get Loki on the line, he's like, what do you want? You're like, I will serve my life in servitude to you. Kill this fucking dragon. Yeah. <laughs> you call out to Odin in, in your mind, and up until this point, Odin has been fairly responsive, showing you the visions, guiding you along the way, and, you, and as your heart beats into your chest, it is a deafening cold silence on the other end. The only thing you hear is laughter in your mind. My dad's not home. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's my turn. Alaric. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, Run I use the, I use the Oh, sorry, it's Nylio's turn. My bad, my bad. Oh, yeah. My yeah, bad. Sure, yeah. Nylio, you are on the roof. The dragon yes, is coming towards you. Um, as the dragon comes towards you, like kind of like redirects, extremely unfortunately for you, the gold dragon fucking pops up, and the drag and the red dragon sees the gold dragon and just nope, and fucks right back off, uh, due to being afeard of the gold dragon. Um, very lucky for you, gold dragon does not see you. Lovely. Where is the gold dragon in regards to me? Everywhere. On the tower, so um, let me take a quick bullshit measurement. Uh, let's see. Wait, am I still? Sorry, I just you're moved on the, the roof. Dragon. You're on the roof. Yeah. But is the dragon right there still? Well, she she's she flew up. Um. So she's okay. out of the chapel now, and she's like kind of like on top of this boat, and she like flew up. But flying up for her is like she's very big and tall, um, so she can see onto the roof. Um, doesn't okay. notice you. But I can't um, drop the. I can no longer drop the tower onto her. No, that is. She's not directly under you anymore. Um, she's okay. probably fairly close to you. I'm gonna say like thirty feet. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I just stay. I can't just stay hidden. You're just like, fuck. <laughs> um, probably smart. Go yeah. ahead and make me another perception check. Okay. Uh, 22. The structural integrity of the castle is waning. Um, you would, 
probably surmise that you have another, like, two rounds before the castle collapses. Um, so you could, in theory, begin climbing down. Um, and since you are a rogue, it is within the realm of possibility that you could do it stealthy enough. It is a large risk, but it's like either wait till the castle burns down and you would definitely perish from that, or you can like big risk it and just hope hope to the gods that you make it out. Or you could, you know, wait turn until the dragon's not right there and yes. then try to stealthily. Yeah, you could down. you could try and do that as well. Is the dragon dragon's currently facing Alaric or not Alaric, um Einar, Einar, right? Yeah. So technically she's she's kind of pointed away from you. Um Okay, so my character is right. Am I going to move the dragon? I am. Okay, this is me right here, right? On this little area. Can you see yeah, where I'm moving it? Yeah, you are not? uh you're like, you're probably like here, like on the roof. Or did you just move my thing? Yeah, no, wait, sorry. Okay. No, you're good. Okay, so I'm like there on the roof. Mm hmm. Is there. The other side. <laughs> yeah, no, the I'm back thinking. Way. Can I run off this direction to where I just moved him to jump into that water? Absolutely. Cool, let's do that. Okay. So, so move to a stride, I guess. I just stride, right? Yeah, okay, so 15, 10, or yeah, 15, 10, 10, and then you're not on the fourth level, so you're no. only 35 feet up. It wouldn't matter. I have, I have, uh, uh, what is it, Catfall. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Excellente for you. Yeah, no, so I'm, I'm big chilling. Yeah, cats hate water, so now. You take damage. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a master in acrobatics, so I treat them, treat any fall as 50 feet shorter. Oh, so you shit. do a front okay. flip, like three front flips. Yeah, like I dive. Exactly. So I, I can take like most falls and be fine. All right. What is cat fall just lets you jump? It's yeah, it's it's a straight up skill feat. It's just pretty trained in acrobatics. Your cat like aerial acrobatics you allow you to cushion your falls. Dive. <laughs> Yeah, like, off the ca off the roof of the castle, and into the little moat. Into the into the little moat river, and uh, you are. <laughs> I hit a ready. shallow rock and I die. Shallow rock. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, athletics or acrobatics or first stride or do I just stride? I think you just stride, and it's cool. Yeah. So stride and then leap, I guess. Yeah. Does he need to be stealthy about this or no? Yes, please roll me a stealth check. Well, my stealth was hoping to get to use it once I'm in the water. Not so much like... Okay, that's fine. Like, kind of hard to see into the water of a river versus, you know, I guess sneaking across the thing. Ah, fuck it, I'll roll one anyway. I'm going to have a master in stealth. You do time. have assurance if you'd rather use that. Too. Thank you for saying that. I would indeed. Yeah. 20. <laughs> 20, please. <laughs> Fantastic. You expertly swan dive. Yeah, I almost forgot. And you, yeah. and you, like, hide amongst, like, the 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 uh, reeds and stuff. And you wait until the coast is clear before you start booking it. Alaric. Now it is your turn. You still fucking okay. dipping? Okay, yes. Uh, how many ships did we have coming in? Six. Probably not enough. Six total? Six total. Oh, that's more than enough. Um, okay. And how many people are currently, like, you know, I assume people have been fleeing in general. But mm -hmm. I'll, I also, I, I was under the impression that some of our people probably, uh, uh, I don't, some people camp, probably camped kind of, I forget how we structured that, but like, we have people by the docks, right? Correct. Uh, so, um, I believe I said it was 20 guys on your boat and then 
10 guys for all the other boats, which oh. gave you... 70. 70 guys. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll run in and I'll immediately start yelling, like, we have to scatter the boats, we have to prep them to go, like, we're going different directions, then we'll regroup, like, we just gotta move. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get everybody. I'm just gonna like mobilize as many people as I can to prep the boats. I'm telling the king's coming, uh, uh, but we need to get off the island. Like we need to be ready to move. Na like we need to be ready to move yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna say that the generous re read would be that you have 50 guys because 20 of them were guards that Nilio had set up, and those guys yeah, are probably yeah. fucking toast by now. So and we'll probably leave the big boat. Okay, so you're gonna take one of the smaller ships. I want, I want them to prep every ship they can. Probably start starting with the smaller ships. So prepping all the smaller ships, and we're just gonna get them ready to go for when people start showing up. It's a flurry of activity. They were already pretty much starting to do this. Um, uh -huh. Once they saw like flames from the castle and shit. So you arriving. One of them also got the message as well. Yes, and the message from uh, from Einar did in fact get to them. So it's they are already well into the process of prepping the boats. Um, you also see that there are many other uh, people who are trying to leave via boat at the you know in the waters that you guys uh, came in to. Um, to varying degrees of success, but your guys are fairly organized. And so there are civilian boats here as well, right? Yeah, there's like some of the queen, like the basically the queen's army who are now like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah. Um, I will, oh, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good it's hard to decide. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get everybody moving. Uh, do we have our, is anybody from, is anybody else from our, from our contingent a spellcaster? Not of us, but. Uh, you probably have like a cleric. You got a, he you got a healer. Okay. Um. May I make a religion check to Absolutely. see if that person would have a certain spell on their spell list? Absolutely. I have no clue. I hand him a scroll. <laughs> I have no clue this is even going to work. I I hand this this guy a scroll. Um, it's a scroll of air bubble. Okay. And I just say, if the uh, it's for if the king needs it. And is, then I'm going to try and take off with a different boat. <laughs> is the king coming, sir? I absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, on a boat. you get on a different boat, and you basically instruct that boat to stay until the absolute last possible second for the king. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I do. I do inform. In fact, I think most boats I, I say to stay. We're going to start start moving as once you have a, a VIP aboard. Okay, perfect. That's their instructions. Okay. Um, anything else? It is on the spell list, just so you know. What's that? It is on the spell list, just so you on know. The, on the whatever spell list that person would yeah. have? The divine, yeah. The divine spell list. Okay, cool. Sick. Alaric has no clue. He Alaric has no clue. He He's like, I don't know any divine shit. All right. Uh... Toke. Yeah. You have your big lady full cartoon status over your head and you are running. What do you do? Keep running. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> running. Um Well you have expeditious retreat, right? Yeah, I used that the last keep accidentally clicking on things. It, I uh, yeah, I used that the last. Until you, until you stop. Yeah. Running, I think. It only drops when you stop running. Stop. Okay. 
specifically. So you can basically use all three of your actions to, like, get up to the boats. Okay. Yeah, let's let's get there then. Fuck all right. the... We're getting out. Another VIP joins. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna show up and just fucking annihilate those boats. That's why we're that's why we're scattering. Yep. We're scattering. We're like, scattering. We're gonna scatter. You're not going the same direction as one another. I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> he left already. He's leaving. Yeah, I'm already on the way out. I I'm I'm instructing my guy to go with boats of her people. Just like in the same direction as boats of her people, just to just so that we're not we don't stick out. <laughs> uh, Orlaith is not going to do anything since she's safely on the boat. King Asbjorn is straight just running, following his brother's instructions. Um, Einar, the gold dragon, you swear, smiles at you. And we'll cast uh, I'm uh I'm still listening, but I gotta cause it's taking a little longer than I thought it would, I gotta feed uh, the dogs. You got it. But I'm still yeah, here. Feed I'm just the gonna be my uh one second, let me see how What's the next highest level spell? Yep. Uh, as you sort of am like, come at me, bro. She smiles, and the last, uh, you see a blast of flame coming right for you, uh, which is a fireball. Um, go ahead and make a reflex save for me. I am good at those. Okay. I don't think it matters, but I am good at those. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, 28. Okay. Um, so you are only... gonna take half damage which is 3d6 but you will oh, be on fire live. oh <laughs> oh <Ew>. uh. <laughs> 12 it doesn't matter i'm guaranteed Seven to still be up 17 now. points of damage that's a pretty bad though <laughs> oh god <laughs> you are on maybe fire. you'll impress the dragon you are on fire, and you will take, um, <coughs> uh, 2d6 of fire damage at the beginning of each of your turn. Perfect. All right. Doesn't matter and doesn't matter. Okay. I have two hit points. Okay. <laughs> uh, she comes down and you are you're like lying in the boat the boat is on fire everything is fire around you and you feel the hot breath of the dragon too so close to your face and you hear the dragon talk to you and say odin cannot save you and she <laughs> eats you. Einar oh. is no more, but will join uh, Odin and Valhalla. We'll get to that later. <laughs> Einar is no mas. It's... It's sad. I can't Nylia. select Einar to drag to the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Please hold. Please hold. Nylio. Okay. Yes. You are in the reeds in this moat. I'd like to do recall knowledge. Nature. Do it up. Uh, 
Oh, okay, and I'd like to use. Uh, no, nah, I'll, I'll take. I'll do a roll. Fuck it. Um. Wait, assurance. Assurance is 10 plus whatever my thing is, right? Well, assurance is, like, it's specific to a specific skill. So I only have assurance in religion. It's not, like, any skill I'm trained at, you know? So you probably Oh, assurance, assurance is only stealth. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right. Well, I rolled a 19 for recall knowledge. Uh, for, for, I don't. <sighs> what would you like to recall? What are you trying to knowledge here? <laughs> What is a dragon's weakness? Cold. For a Cold? fire-based dragon. Mm -hmm. Really wasn't anything cold on the island, was there? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, why? <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I'm just trying to think of how to create cold. You're like... If only I was magic. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Maybe proficient in science and like mix hydrogen with <laughs> other bullshit. I wish to multi-class an artif artificer in this exact moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I'm in the reeds. I mean... I want to fight this fucking thing, but like every chance I'm trying to to fight it, every time I have a good idea to kill the thing, it's just like, nah, no thanks, thanks D. <laughs> um, I suppose. What's at the top of this map? Is this an island or is this like a continent and just like a this coastal is city? Technically an island, yeah. Um, what's at the top of this map? I mean, technically the map only shows the the capital city, so you could run off into like the rolling hills. Um, essentially, the island is based off of Ireland. Um, okay. So that's kind of what we're working with here. Okay, because I'm, I mean, at this point, shit. If we're all going for ourselves here. I need to just make my way out into the, the wilderness and then I'm proficient with, at least my character is, at least Nilio is a survivalist, so he'll just live off the land for the rest of his time. Okay. I mean, yes, you can, you can, whatever you think Nilio would do. Yeah. At this point, yeah, so I guess he'll swim, fall, like float along with the river that's going towards the ocean until he reaches those trees and then he will get out and then walk north. All right. Um. Stealthily with a chance. Stealthily with a chance. <laughs> um. I will not be seen. I refuse. Alaric, how long are you going to wait for the king? I don't. I don't wait for the Oh, yeah, you're all. like, I'm fucking off. I'm, hey, no, I'm I goodbye. I, yeah, I... Uh, you just you instructed, try. like, a couple boats to wait. Yeah, like, pack up... Basically, the first boat that was ready to go, I, I took charge of, essentially. Got it. And just kind of said, like, you know, okay, we gotta get out of here. Like, we're scattering. We're going with other boats. I just want to put distance between us and the island and get into, like, the mists. And, in fact, uh... Oh, no, I don't have anything like that. Uh, well, okay. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of stay low. I, I think I, I kind of want to, I want us to just row out into the mist, hopefully, uh, so that we're less visible from the sky. I'm just For out, sure. though. You're just, I'm deuces. Yeah, All yeah, right. we're out. So, Alaric, as you row well, not row. As the boat sails away and you make it into the mist, as you are sailing away from the island, you see the massive gold dragon begin to wreak absolute chaos on the island. The castle is burning down and you watch it fall. You notice her fly over the village and is just lighting everything up 
with fire. Um, you see a couple boats get toasted pretty quick, and you are just unsure if the king made it out or if he possibly could at all. Uh, I reach into my pack, and I, I, you see Alaric like reaches into his pack, and there is like a healing potion. He kind of sh- chucks it into a corner of the, the ship. He pulls another potion out, chucks it in the corner. There's a cape. There's a sling. There's a staff that he throws, and he tosses. It. He looks at it. He puts it back in his bag. He kind of keeps picking stuff up and throwing it out until he reaches in the bottom and he pulls out a flask and just goes. Go to town. Keep rowing. <laughs> uh, one of the one of the men come up to you, looking a little worse for wear, but you know, and he goes, uh, "Alaric, uh, the closest neighboring island is about five day sails away." Oh, God. That's fine. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Just wherever. I mean, just get away. Get away from it for now. Like, even we can reconnect with people. We can reconnect with other people on the water. Ooh, we just gotta scatter. We just gotta scatter. Ooh. Pulls another. Reaches back <laughs> and pulls another one out. <laughs> just starts going again. Just, just starts drinking as you come to terms with the fact of your best friend and your king is more than likely dead. Uh, I don't know that. We'll figure it out later. Yeah, yeah. We, you don't know that for sure, but like, it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> Nilio. Not on the mind at the moment. You. Yeah. I'm wondering. Sorry, you go first. Oh, yeah. I was like, you run north. You keep to the coast. You keep to hidden as best you can. And the only thing in your mind is that putting distance between you and the destruction of the town. I do want to put distance between me and the coastline. Yes, absolutely. You just sail straight into the mist. You're 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 gone. Okay. Alaric is safe. Nilio. Yes. What were you gonna say? Um, I was wondering if I should just fucking just think to myself, like, let's just go at it. You know what? I could I could live to fight another day, but since this is a one shot, we're probably not going to see these characters again. So I just said, screw it. I, you know, what in my mind, he like Dileo lives to fight another. I, I think he would. I mean, he's a rogue. I think he would. He's strategist. He would go find a way to survive and live to fight another day. Yeah. Then do that. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, then I'm. Yeah. That's what I go. That's what I go with then. And then in my mind, at one day, he finally finds and he learns cold magic in the Great North and whatever, and then he becomes <laughs> a magic cold rogue and he kills that fucking dragon. But that's, you know, that, that happens like 30 years from now. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. <laughs> Nylio walks for days and uses every trick in the book to survive off the land. Um, you hide at every abnormal sound and you only care about putting distance between you and the dragon. Eventually, three days later, you come to a town that has people in it. You are able to get medical attention and you speak with the people and realize that this is a newly conquered area of the queen. They are, of course, concerned with your state. Um, They don't normally get people who have just been walking for three days. Do you relay (laughs) any information to them? You said this is a newly conquered? This is basically you, you walked for three days into like the next town over. And, okay. uh, but the queen had told you guys that you guys had, that she had conquered the entire island and rid any extraneous kings or anything like that. So they are mm. technically under Queen Skanad's control, 
but there's like a random statesman who's sort of like overseeing this town. You can also tell that this town was fairly recently decimated and that the, it, the population is low. It's like survivors, essentially. Okay. But they are under her control. Well, they're not dominated or anything, but they are technically uh, her. Okay, her yeah, subjects. Her type subjects, of deal. exactly. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> I suppose I grit my teeth, grab my knife, cut off the back of my hair, and say, "Long live the queen!" Through gritted teeth, and then start my life there for a bit. All right. Toke, as you get me the fuck the out of here. <laughs> as you board the ship, the men are ready to go per Einar and Alaric's instructions, and they are able to quickly get you and Orlaith the fuck up out of there. Uh, they go in a, in a slightly different direction than um, uh, Alaric's ship, um, heading for a different island in the area. And much like Alaric's boat, you can you watch you and Orlaith watch um, on the deck of the ship as you watch the castle crumble and the town burn and a gold dragon glinting in the sun uh, completely destroy anything left of this town. Yeah, I've seen many. Many cities fall and rise. I am out. Orlaith <laughs> sort of looks I'm at you. I'm barely breathing at this point. Yeah, you're like, Orlaith looks at you and she goes, Thank you. I. I did not know. I didn't know any of this. I hope that Heilhafen is as welcoming as you say. Yeah, you'll be fine. I love you. <laughs> Stick with me and we'll be okay. Also, I just want to say I'm sorry for uh, cutting you back there. It this wasn't me. It's <laughs> all good. And she gives you a big kiss. Oh. As we ride into the sunset. As you ride into the sunset. Einar. As you awaken you see beautiful uh, trees green grass it's warm it's a pleasant day you feel your crossbow in your hands and you're taking aim on a beautiful white buck uh, your crossbow releases and strikes true, killing the buck instantly. And a hand comes onto your shoulder. You turn around, and it is none other than Odin himself. You have never seen the god in person, but is unmistakable with his presence. He smiles at you. He says, You've done good, Einar. I am proud of you and what you accomplished in this realm. Thank you, all oh, Father. I only hope it was enough. I will turn and approach the buck and continue that. And you give Odin a big kiss. <laughs> <laughs> we go right <laughs> after the sunset. Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> As you begin the, the, the ritualistic skidding of the animal and whatnot, you feel Odin's eyes watch you for a little bit, and you feel his approval in your heart. And... 
As you look back, you see that he is gone, but you know that you have reached Valhalla. Yay! And this ends our story for now! We fucking Yay! did it. Damn. We did it. That was so no, okay. good, you guys. Our no, characters will be mad back, especially when my new character meets Toke, and then Toke kills him, and then I, I go on as Toke. <laughs> <laughs> um, just so you know, we, at, a, at a certain point in time, when the sound of the dragon can't be, this is post credit sequence. Yes. <laughs> when the sound of the dragon can't be heard anymore, uh, 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 Alaric casts Bullhorn, which just makes his voice clearly ho- heard at a normal speaking volume about uh, from up to 500 feet away. It just goes, King? King, King Asbjorn? Well, I guess he can't answer back. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, hopefully, I'll see you around. <laughs> I'll see you at home. Yes, yes, you know. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, D questions. Yes. Now that it's over, yes. was the dragon actually killable? Was there any physical way, way we were gonna actually do it? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> so. Yes, there was a way to drop the dragon to zero hit points. Okay, what was it? Does like, that what... mean it would actually die? Like, oh, was there had... something specific you had in mind that, like, that would have been the thing that could have done it? Um, it had two hundred hit points, so. Holy shit! It would have yeah. just been us getting lucky and taking a lot of shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. It wasn't. It, and and I'll I'll also I'll I'll meta this for you guys. Um, Queen's Knot was a 12th level spellcaster, so she was crazy powerful, much much higher level than you guys. Um, Guess who she couldn't kill? A little <laughs> all of her. <laughs> I I was in the shit. So were you? <laughs> you got lucky. Like, like, gymnastic made your some life. Big, know, some right? big lucky yeah. rolls for sure. Um, and yeah, that that low roll going through the fire for Nilio. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just bit the bullet and took it. Yeah, I like that Nilio's just like I'm just gonna chill in Hibernia for like a a couple years. I told you my backstory, dude. I'm going full like Punisher over here. I'm gonna wait (laughs) and just gather my strength. In my mind, in that town, there is a small resistance for the queens, like people, that I start running, and I become the small leader of that, and eventually I become the leader of Hibernia after I kill the dragon. <laughs> That's my Leo's backstory. It's very, very possible that all of that could very could happen. Um, I'm going to end the stream now.